Hi there, sorry about that noise. Juggernaut from the future here. Uh, well, basically, this episode has two intros, you're going to notice. Uh, I apologize for that. There was a large gap between me recording the first part of the episode and the second part, and in that gap, I sort of forgot that I already started the episode and I just need to continue recording. I had, uh, I had something to do, I had somewhere to go, and like a, I think a, a day and a half, two days might have passed in between the two parts, and I just did the intro and... Um, there, there's no really subtle way of cutting it out because it would you wouldn't really get what was going on right because um, yeah you, well you, you'll see you'll see in, in the video itself but yeah I just wanted to let you know that there's two intros because I forgot that I recorded these episodes on this episode on two different days and then put it together so yeah just wanted to let you know in case you get confused and uh, other than that though everything's normal with the video so yeah enjoy Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen to some more Project Zomboid. We just opened up this car last time. And unfortunately no good will come of it. Because I don't have the keys for it. But it looks to be in perfect condition, at least on the outside. Let's open up the hood and check. Okay. Map. Got a bit scared there that I'm going to get jumped by something. Give me a bit of a fright, not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, gonna drink. And can I clean the bandages or did I do that already somewhere? Was this a push dagger? One of those weapons, which seems like a good idea. Ford Box Body Mustang Key. Please tell me it's this car. It is. It is this car. It is this car. The keys were right there. It even has fuel. Not only does it have fuel, it has a ton of fuel. Hypothetically speaking, I can get anywhere with this car. But I need to think about where I want to go first. I want to go away from that horde. That's where I want to go. But I need to think about it first. Okay. I don't know anything about the area. Do I want to leave Raven Creek? Is the... Question here. I do. 
but is this the best way to do it? That part I'm not so convinced of. This is the thing. I found the car, right? Yay, hooray, superb, happy me, etc, etc. Here's the issue. I can crash somewhere. What, you don't know how to drive? No, no, I know how to drive. That's not the problem. The problem is... What if I run into a horde that's just covering both ends of the highway? highway? Well, then you turn around. What if there's a horde behind me? I understand I'm asking a lot of what-if questions where maybe I shouldn't be, and I should just be happy with what I found. But I can't really be happy with what I found if I'm dead. <laughs> um, <clears throat> my point being... I have enough experience and sense to know that just driving aimlessly around the town is dangerous. Uh, first of all, I don't know if there's any human survivors, and I really don't want to get shot for my car. Um, I have a weapon, but I, I, I shoot back fair enough, but it's dangerous. I'd rather explore a little bit more on foot. Use this as a storage kind of deal basically. And then later come back here, get the car, car's fine and all of that, right? No problem with the car. Use it to, you know, get to wherever I want to go next. Because, yeah. Also, if I can find an RV to attach to it, that'd be grand. My, my point is, basically, I have a car. I just don't know where to go with it. And driving around aimlessly can land me in a heap of trouble. Because I really don't know what's happening around the place. Say I get attacked by, like, two or three sprinters. They're chasing after the car. I run into a horde, and my escape route is blocked by, like, some cars or whatever. It's not that unlikely at all. Matter of fact, it's very likely that something like that's going to happen, because I've seen it multiple times here. I've, I've seen, like, roads blocked off by car wrecks, and stuff like that happens all the time. And so, realistically, I think my best option is to just stay in the area. I found water, I have an infinite source. The area, up until a few minutes ago, wasn't too bad. There weren't that many zombies around. Now I'm tired, now I'm not going anywhere, period, but... You get the point, like, prior to this also... It's very important that I found the car. I found the keys for it, it has fuel, it's a rare find. It's an extremely rare find, because the car's in tip-top condition. I would assume the owner, previous owner, was trying to get to it and just... ...didn't make it, I suppose. But, um, yeah. So, here's what we're going to do. Way too many undead in this building. Holy shit, and they're coming. Well, I'm 
becomes feral too. At least one. Good thing I got out of there on time. I'm too tired to be doing this. I really am. So, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna get rid of this guy. And this building can stay in its current condition. Matter of fact, I'm gonna mark it as dangerous. Attention of one. That one can follow me all at once. Don't mind. Uh, a few regular ones, a few wrestlers, a tough one. Sit down, please. And now I've attracted the attention of one wrestler and a few more regular ones. Grab her over there. Okay, let's still stick to this fence. Try and sneak past at least the majority of them. Or of the rest of them, right? How many are following me? Too many. Too many are following me. Please don't tell me a horde hasn't migrated into this area. Oh, please don't tell me a horde has migrated into this area. Not that I can see. Okay. Good thing is, my house... My house. The house I'm... Looking to stay at is not in this immediate neighbourhood. Problem is I'm drowsy. I could you, uh, I could get tired very very quickly, especially because of the wounds and stuff like that I talked about already. So I'd rather not fight a wrestler right now. Although I'm not doing too bad. Yeah, a wrestler one on one I would take. Still doing fine in combat. I'm, I'm overestimating drowsy. Drowsy is nothing. There you go, you're the most dangerous one. I've grossly overestimated how drowsy affects you in terms of combat. There's basically nothing. Okay, there we go. So, the plan now, the new plan, the revised plan, if you will, is we go to the house with the well, I wash up, clean the bandages, drink some water, have something to eat. Uh, considering I'm not too sleepy yet, I read these magazines. 
I dump them, I read one of these books for a little bit, go to bed, wake up early in the morning, tomorrow, and we take things from there. And this is the specific house I'm looking for. Actually, I want to go to the well first. Water source, natural water. It's not... It's not contaminated water though, is it? I mean, it would have told me there's a tooltip for that. Definitely a tooltip. Would have told me I was drinking contaminated water and... Well, to be brutally honest, I probably would have died by now if I wasn't so. Or if I was, I mean, drinking contaminated water, so, yeah. Pull up this Spiffo mug. And then that ought to tell me. Where's my Spiffo mug? I don't want to stay outside anymore. Mug of water. Yeah, it's it's clean. Alright, there we go. Upstairs. Uh, you, buddy. Come in with me. I don't want to sleep with a corpse inside the house. Shocker, I know. It's a shame considering I just cleaned up and now I'm handling corpses, but hey. And I'm still only drowsy. Okay, that to me is a sign that my wounds are getting better. Because otherwise I think I would have been... a little bit worse for wear. Had the situation been different. Alright, yeah, this is a good place to sleep. Um, let's just close the curtains. Even though I'm 99% sure that no zombie walking around here will be able to see me upstairs through the window. In, you know, in reality, yes, definitely. In here, probably not. But, still. Best to be safe. Close all the curtains. Um, means I won't get a lot of light in here, but that's okay. And then, well, after this, it's pretty much just up to me to, you know... Kill time, basically. I can learn how to dance, I guess, in the meantime. One thing I can do, have a bunch of stuff to read, something to eat, and uh, sleep away the night. I'll see you all guys tomorrow morning. Right. Yeah. Right, until then, take care. Be back in just a second. Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to some more Project Zomboid, playing as the Black Ops Insurgent on a secret mission in... The exclusion zone. Just woke up and, uh, well, I tell a lie actually. I didn't just wake up. I woke up a couple of uh, minutes ago, maybe like 20, 30 minutes ago. Had some breakfast, all that good stuff. Read the carpentry book a little bit. I'm gonna put that away and I've, uh, well, I've had a visitor down here um, banging on the door, so I took care of that. And uh, in the process, I've noticed. Yeah. As you can see,
I can't. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I just find that phrasing extremely funny. Um, I'm probably the only one in that opinion, or that has that opinion, but regardless, it doesn't change the fact that I can't see squat in this mist. And so, I guess what that means is today... I can't really go and explore uh, anything. Um, I mean, I, I, at least nothing outdoors. Um, and, yeah, that's a bit bugged. Um, but even if I do want to just stick to indoor areas, I need to cross like streets and stuff to get to places where I want to be. And I'm completely blind outside. Now, again, if I didn't have feral zombies around, this would have been different. My shovel's too broken, not worth picking up. Um, you know, it would have been like, oh, oh well, too bad, so sad. It's just, you know, a bit of mist. We'll just, if we run into something, we'll sprint away. Yeah, not really an option here. So... I mean, oops, what do I... <laughs> what can I say? Uh, right, let's filter this out by... Journal? Bind together journal. I have glue, I have an empty notebook. I need one thread and three leather strips. Okay, let's try and find that. Uh... Ooh, crayons. Actually, crayons are useful. Because I can use them on the map. To add, like, custom colours and stuff. And then not the most important thing, I'll grant you, but... Still. I can see them out there. Um, fortunately for me, though, in situations like this, the undead have also reduced visibility. However, not as much as me. Um, they see a lot better than I do in this mist for some reason. Um, well, for some reason. But I imagine it's because of their sense of smell. Um... So, yeah. They don't need to exactly know where I am in order to start following me because of the scent. Um, so, yeah. Sip. I think something just went under that car or whatever because it felt like the car moved a little bit. But at least this office building seems empty. Um, and that will give me a moment. As soon as I loot these thingamajigs, cabinets and stuff. Yeah, okay. So that will give me a moment to open up the to-do list and say we've now found a vehicle so we don't need to do that anymore I do need to find leather strips I don't know why I capitalized leather strips and I need to find a piece of thread Right, so, silencer, ammo, sledgehammer, permanent shelter, leather strips, piece of thread. That's what I need currently, um, but it's just a tiny bit more than that also. I need, um, kind of like a route, if that makes sense, to where I'm going to take the car. 
But I suppose that all falls under. I was here already. That, that all falls under um, find permanent shelter. So yeah. I mean, I can technically live out of that car. It's not a problem, but it's more so the fact that, like I mentioned before, there isn't anywhere to go that's safe. Um, car's fine. I can park it in the middle of nowhere, but even the middle of nowhere is not really secure. And even if it was like completely the middle of nowhere, how do I get there? Because as far as I know, the city's blocked off. Um... And then on top of that, I think the problem I'm going to have is sustainability, kind of, to, to, to an extent, right? I mean, the well's here. I guess I could try and build one or something. It's not impossible, but at the same time, it's a... Uh, I don't want to... I kind of want to be in reach of a larger settlement, if that makes sense, because I'm going to need all the resources I can get. And, uh... Well, it's not really an option to just go out in the woods and in the middle of nowhere. Again, mainly for security reasons. I mean, resources and stuff I can somehow muster if it's really worth the sacrifice, so to speak, but I won't have gained complete security. Alright, tell you what, let's sit down here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to read that carpentry book. The mist outside is simply too much to, to handle. Um, I can't go anywhere, and as a result, I'm kind of stuck in this office. Um, just for a short while, though. So, yeah, I'm going to read this, and I'm going to disassemble some of these chairs. I think if I... Actually, I can, I can check. Let's see, carpentry? Yeah. Uh, the moment I read this, I can get carpentry up to level 1 or 2 just by disassembling furniture around this office space, so that's what I'm going to be doing in the next couple of hours, I suppose. And I have food on me, so I don't, I'm not uh, worried about that. Alright, see you when I'm done uh, doing all of this. Alright, there we go. Um, it's, uh, well, as you can see, I've redecorated the office a little bit. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you, you get the idea, it's, um, it's kind of tedious, there's no reason to really look at that, um, or rather record that, um, for all of you lot, but I did get carpentry all the way up to level 2 just from disassembling this, um, and now you sort of understand the XP boost and idea and, and all that, yeah, it makes progression and combat a little bit easier, but the main reason for the XP boost it's stuff like this, because there's nothing really skillful, skillful about it. Otherwise, all I would have to do is come here and disassemble all of this, right? To get to level 2. It's just extra work, extra time. Um, and it's not even that much extra time, it's just tedious, honestly. Clicking through everything, so... Yeah, that's... that's. I think you kind of understand the point of why 2 times the XP now. Um, Alright, so... With that said, um, let's get out of here. I think the mist is gone. Okay. That was interesting. Now, what did I say about these cars? They didn't have keys, right? But did I check these, like, uh... I think these are storage units. 
Yeah, I think so. Don't know if I check these. I don't remember doing so. It's just a load of furniture in this one. Great if I want to disassemble it, but first I need to find the next carpentry level book. Because, uh, well, actually, now that I mention it, I can just drop this. Yeah. And I will. Next chance I get. <clears throat> Maybe I should leave it in like a container somewhere not to clutter the city anymore. It's already cluttered enough. Um, and I say that, don't trust me, not for the purposes of, of aesthetics. It, anything, if anything, a book on the floor will improve the aesthetics of this city. No, I'm just talking about performance. Nope. I am going to just nope straight out of that. Not dealing with that right now. Thank you very much. I might want to deal with this though. Yeah, I have isolated the wrestler. Well, I've isolated him. It's like I did any of the work. He isolated himself. But you get the general idea. Now, I'd very much... Woo! There's two sprinters, there's two sprinters, there's two sprinters. Let's go. Get out of here. It'll take a long while for them to break down that door, but I don't want to be here when they do. Regardless. Alright. Yeah, there was a little bit more excitement than I bargained for, but tell you what, it's fine. I've, uh, I need some. I need a map of Raven Creek is what I need. I need like a, a small map of Raven Creek. Cause here's the thing, going anywhere with you know being this careful is a bit of an effort. And it takes time. Going away from this area is also risky, because this is where I eat and sleep. And yeah, it's not the most secure place ever, but it's a heck of a lot better than what I just saw, so. Ideally, if I go somewhere, it should be a little bit more deliberate in that, you know, I'm going there because I need to do X, Y, Z. Problem is, I don't know where I'm going because I don't know the city at all, and I don't think there's maps of Raven Creek. Which is a bit unfortunate for me, but, yeah. Okay. Broke window. Let's see. Oh, just a regular one. Alright. Sit yourself down, please.
Jesus, that took some killing. <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna bother with 22 LR pistols, right? They just don't do enough damage. Uh, you would think that 22 LR isn't loud and that I can use 22 long rifle cartridges. Um, well, not really unsuppressed. It's still a bullet. It's still fairly loud, but um, nowhere near as a 9mm or something, right? Yeah, not in the game. Um, they're, they're eerily similar. Um, I, I guess in terms of killing power against undead, where you got to shoot them in the head anyway, depending on how much damage you have to do to the brain, or what was once the brain and is now just a rotting carcass, but to that, I guess, area of the head, um, depending on how much damage you actually have to do to it, uh, 22 LR is as good as anything else, I suppose, right? Um, if, because in, in, in most um, depictions of zombies and stuff, you, you just need to do like a little bit of damage to the brain. Uh, you, need to, you don't need to completely destroy it, you don't need to destroy like 50% of it, you don't need to destroy a specific part of the brain, no, just it's anywhere in the general vicinity of the head, some kind of damage will will do, right? And uh, if that's the case here as well, then 22 LR is fine. There's a bullet. Um, the problem currently with the 22 LR is that it's way too loud. It's about as loud as a 9mm. There's, there's little difference between the two. Or at least that was the case the last time I checked. Uh, are all of these coming after me? How the hell did they all see me? I really wasn't that close. I mean, I wasn't sneaking either, but I really wasn't that nearby. Or did they just wander off over here a little bit? Yeah, I think they might just start wandering a little bit. Okay. There we go. Alright, lovely. Uh, how's my weight looking? 74 still. Okay. I'm going to stop eating so much. Because um, I'm basically at my target weight. Uh, right, let's take a look at the map. So. I want to continue down this way. Uh, massive horde over there, we just avoid it and we continue down th that way, but basically just leave this kind of... It's not really a block, I would consider this a block, but like this extended area that I've been in, just leave it. Uh, go somewhere new, because it's getting a little bit boring and I'm kind of running out of resources and things to loot and things to do here, so... I think it's worthwhile maybe just sneaking past all of these things down here, the different types and kinds of infected and what have you. And trying to get, well I was over there a minute ago, but... Trying to like sneak past around the back here maybe. I don't know how well that's gonna work, but we can try. Because basically I don't wanna fight all of them and I'm running out of melee weapons. Um, my, my, the durability is progressively depleting and I'm not really in a position to replenish them in this area. Somewhere else maybe. Not here though. I tell you what, ideally what I would love to find is I think there's like a... Is it a medieval axe or is it a World War One weapon or something like that? It's some kind of axe, I think. 
and uh, it's nigh indestructible. I mean, really, really good in that sense. All right, we'll just circle around because, like I said, I don't want to fight all of these things. Let's draw them in over here, make sure they all saw me, and all right, let's go. I think I'm going to try and break in through the house. Which makes sense, but I don't think any of them will have the sense to go this way. Except they will. And I'm wrong. Like I said, stragglers, man. Stragglers. Oh, boy. They did not come after me, did they? Yeah, I'm lucky there's, there isn't a sprinter in this group. Although I, I have to say, I did check. I did do my due diligence on a lot of them. So, I think one sprinter wouldn't have been that bad, but... Okay, now I have a conga line of infected following me. It's not that many, but it's not something I want to deal with either. Let's try this street again, because it was full last time, and I think there was a bunch inside the restaurant, but now I'm, I reckon they will have moved. And I can go elsewhere. Oh, and by the way, you know what I, when I, you know when I said that uh, I, I walk faster than the undead, and that's the biggest, most important thing? Behold. Walk down the street and you'll outrun them. Well, maybe that's the wrong word, but you get what I mean. Okay, I know there's a feral one over there. Well, let me tell you, they haven't moved. That large group is still out there. But I have basically outran the horde. I'm assuming they're still going to come after me, or come after me is maybe the wrong word, but I'm assuming they're still going to come in this general direction. Because they've been drawn to me, but regardless, they're not exactly going to follow me. I think I've, thus far, I think one of my mistakes has been I've grossly underestimated how committed the infected are to following me. It's been ten years since the initial outbreak, and they've changed, like... They've rotted away and stuff. Maybe they've lost some of the commitment, if that makes sense. It probably doesn't, but what I mean is... I reckon they've, they've probably... Some of their senses might have dulled out and some of their intelligence along the way. So... Yeah. Well, there's a... Uh, ATEX scope. Here, and there's an M16. I'm not going to pick it up, I have the MP5, and it's not like I have 5.56 ammo coming out the wazoo, as they say. But, um... Yeah. Good to know that we can still find weapons occasionally. I'd love to see some... military checkpoint or something like that, like a military blockade, an outpost of some description. I seem to recall there being some in Raven Creek. The jump scare music is pretty bad. It's a little bit worse when you don't know why it appeared. Or it appeared.
it happened, or whatever. Alright. Hello there, friends. I was supposed to say General Kenobi. Okay, there's three of you. You don't need to say anything. You're in the majority now. You don't need to say anything. find anything in a bar like this other than alcohol so I'm gonna move on pawn shop that's what that says pawn shop okay very very interested in this building Primarily because it's ridiculously well secured, but other than that... Also because of the stuff it has inside it. There's a gas station there, I need to mark that on the map. Uh, if I remember after dealing with all of this. Uh, dealing with the ruffians, eh? <laughs> hey, come on. Two. Let's switch back to the knife. These guys, because there's... Well, there is a grabber. But other than that, not too bad. And I reckon I can take them on one by one. If I'm careful. Always glance through the corpses in case there's like a concealed carry weapon or something. Uh, not for the weapon itself, although it wouldn't be a detrimental to pick one up, definitely. Uh, but more so for the I keep wiping this with alcohol wipes. I don't know if it helps any, but Yeah. Right. Cool. Um, this guy came from Louisville. Louisville, really? Well, I suppose in the initial outbreak, right? He sort of ran off. To the next biggest town? I don't really understand the logic behind it. Well, maybe he was trying to get out of Knox County altogether. Uh, yes, I've seen that I'm very tired um, already. Uh, what can I do about it? Shite. Can't get in the and to disassemble the door I need Oh no, I can disassemble the door. Well I can, but I'm not gonna do it now. Cause you're gonna break it down for me. It is gonna take a while though, but it will happen. I'm very tired. See, look at that. Like, I went from not tired at all to very tired in like 
10, 30 seconds. Subjectively, objectively, probably like, like 20, 30 minutes. Wrong button. Um... Uh, that's a grabber. Okay. Come on. Put that away too. Uh, I have to sleep, but... Do I have to go back to the house to sleep, or do I just... What do I do? This car looks brand new. Fortunately, no keys, but... either. It does have a Louisville map, but I think it's the last one I needed to get the full picture of Louisville. Louavalu, fine. Fine. Unequip this. Need any of these. Why did I get the saw out? I don't think I needed that. Uh, I imagine it's for the door, but I don't remember. Yeah, maybe it's just me. Okay, uh, nothing in the trunk either. It's just a good car, but no keys. Let's check the condition a little bit more thoroughly. Yep. Mint condition car, no keys. Right, let's put it down um, on the map. And now i got to decide what I'm going to do. I'm insanely tired. And I need to get out of here. I need to go sleep. Or rather, I need to find a safe place to sleep. Is it going to be back here again? It's nearby. It's the most logical option. It really is. I just need to avoid this, because there's a lot of them here. I need to avoid this. I can sneak in between. I can go around. I'm kind of blocked off now, because there's zombies here, and there's zombies here, and I sneaking around the place is going to be a bit difficult, but... Y yes, I suppose, hypothetically, I can return to the... Adult Education Center. There's, there's bound to be good books in there. Well, unless it's adult in a slightly different... Matter than I'm thinking. Right. Uh, what to do, what to do. Money sign here, because it's a pawn shop. And it does have a money sign on the thingamajig, so on the sign outside, so fair enough. I need to go back. Yeah, I think there's no doubt about it. I need to try and sneak past all of these things, go back and get some sleep, because I'm extremely tired, and until all these infections and wounds go away, I'm going to continue to be extremely tired all the bloody time, and uh, at least I think that's part of the reason. I really shouldn't be getting this tired this quickly, but hey.
And I completely forgot that there's ferals over here and that if they catch me, there's gonna be problems. Yeah, the one there, one over there. Far enough away though. All right, tell you what though, we're sneaking past, but we're gonna have to cut the video here. It's been a long while already. I don't wanna make these too long. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Like, subscribe down, down below if you enjoyed the video. And stay tuned with the rest of the series and the content that I produce on this channel. But I'm Juggernaut. Until next time, I'm going to try and run away from these guys and uh, go and get some sleep. Have fun. Take care. Bye-bye.